We begin with a 19 year old charge in connection with a crash that took the life of a 23 year old mother in South Houston. Good afternoon. I'm Lauren Freeman. And I'm Keith Garvin. We now know Eric Hernandez is the name of the man accused of driving drunk in a crash that killed Taylor Phillips. We've been following the story all day since we learned about the crash on College Avenue and East Haven Boulevard. Now we've learned where the suspect may have been before the crash. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers is live there with more. Brittany. And we've been checking in with investigators and according to them, that suspect, 19 year old Eric Hernandez, allegedly spent several hours here at this bar yesterday before the deadly crash. We've also learned that this particular venue has two violations and two active investigations involving this most recent case. So Houston police tell us it was around two o'clock in the morning when 19 year old Eric Hernandez was headed westbound on College Avenue when he crossed several lanes of traffic, sideswiped an SUV and he's accused of killing the driver 24 year old mother Taylor Phillips and her one year old son and grandmother were hurt now hours before the crash investigators say that Hernandez was here a mile away from the crash site at Frontera events venue spending more than a hundred dollars on drinks we're pulling video we're pulling receipts we're gonna pull all the evidence we need uh, to determine how much he drank whether he was overserved. He's 19 years old, so he really shouldn't be in an establishment at all. Now, according to the Texas Alcoholic Beverage Commission, there are two active investigations at Frontera Events Venue into allegations of selling alcohol to an intoxicated person. One started on October 23rd. The other stems from the most, over, most recent overnight fatal wreck. And records also show that there are two violations at this establishment. Now, I did reach out to Frontera Events. They did not want to comment at this time. We're also told that Hernandez is expected to be in court sometime later this afternoon. Live here in South Houston, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News.